Good Thursday morning, folks. It is July the 1st, 2021. We're at the Riverwalk RV Park on the Yakima River. Uh, it's our favorite go-to local campground within an hour and 10 minutes of our home. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna be showing you guys my outdoor modifications to my our camper. We've had since 2018. It's a 2018 Surveyor uh, travel trailer, BHS 245 with a bunkhouse model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and kind of uh, show what I've done to the camper with modifications, changes, additions, things to make our, um, our camper a little bit different. And obviously uh, suit, suit to what we do as far as a family. So first thing I'm gonna start at the very front of the trailer. I added a basic, just a, one of those Camco um, electric jack tongue covers to keep it uh, for out of the elements when the room were parked and the rain and whatnot, the wind. Okay. Come on to the under bed storage here. I uh, use a lot of command hooks. Uh, command products are great. I've taken um, my percussion WD-40 um, spray cans use those to mount those as well over here more command hooks just all that out uh, light right there all with command strips i have installed little mic pro which is kind of it's it's iffy uh, it works and sometimes it works and sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work but this trip actually works okay my rebel. I actually use this device, the orange um, uh, tool to un untighten the sewer connection. We actually used it this time. I can't tighten. We used it. It worked great. Okay. Toolbox, obviously, back here. Camco storage bags for our water hoses and whatnot. Okay. Right the other side of the storage area. And on this side, more command hooks. <laughs> yeah, over here, I just got my, my 11 in one screwdriver that I used a lot. A couple wrenches that I use, I use, use periodically. It's easy to get to. Sanitation gloves here, goes right to the wall. Is it can't hang from Camco brand? Yep. Down here is just all my water fit uh, faucets and um, water pressure regulators and whatnot. The water bandit. Okay, more things in the back there. Okay. I have hooks here to connect my broom, which is actually hanging up now. This is the flagpole buddy. We're not gonna use it this trip where there's no wind. And uh, we, this is where we store the flagpole buddy. Um, actual pole itself, it's a class one pole. All right, cool. Let's go around to this part of the coach. Okay. I got this at Lowe's about a month and a half ago. It's just a uh, painter's um, work bench. I use it, I'm gonna be using it to cook on my Blackstone E-Series. It's adjustable, 300 pounds is really good. Um, super nice, super nice. We, I used it at Mervyn Trial Park about four weeks ago. It worked very well. You gotta get, you gotta get some zero G um, to your gravity chairs. Well, these things are great. Fans are a must for sure. There's our dog walking underneath the camper, <laughs> Dixie. Okay. Got uh, a couple of suction cups here. This one holds her leash. Great mod is the door um, shade window you pull it down at night you don't have any type of light coming in 
You know, the day you guys are full of shade up from inside, you can still look out, but the people can't look into your camper, which is a great mod. Okay. Probably a cooler. Got a little lifetime table for that. My friend Robert Richie blew it out for me. <laughs> Here's the broom that I've got hanging on the hook. Really convenient to to wipe off and broom our area here. These mats are really good. Um, highly suggest them. Cut them off Amazon. I got two pull into the camper. Uh, this is a gravel surface, so this protects your feet, right? Of course, it looks, it looks good. It matches the camper, right? Going to the back here. These are Camco towel hooks. I use them for towels, obviously, and for shirts. They're suction cut mounted. They're really good as well. Got some of those from Walmart and Amazon. Up here is my Furion backup camera. Works really well. Over here is just your sewer and water connection, power power uh, connections here. I, I, we installed this smart plug back in the springtime. It just makes it for an easier fit to just connect your power to the camper from the from the from the um, from the campsite. Just plug it in. There's no type of screwing in and having to get it connected right. Really, really convenient. The blue light gives you a definite definite um, powers on signal. Okay, but that is a smart plug. Okay, Cam Coke Stream. Sewer hose. We got our um, orange camper that holds down the sewer connection to the ground. Zero G. This is a, a water hose that we use a lot. Okay. Um, really good. Doesn't kink. Super expandable. Okay. Here's the. Water pressure regulator is the basic one. Two-way splitter. Okay. All right. We had this installed about two weeks ago right here. With the yellow cord. That's a, a an additional outlet we had installed that we can run additional things inside our camper now. Wow, blowing a fuse over 30 amps. Very effective as well. Okay. Well, this part of the coach over here, just stickers, whatnot, our slide out. Okay. And the last mod that I'll show you from the front of the coach is right here. Dixie, Dixie. Custom campsite sign we had made about a year and a half ago off a Facebook page forum group. Uh, works very really well at night. Okay, so this is our outdoor kitchen. This has been a work in progress for about two years. Outdoor fridge, really well. Um, it keeps things super cold, man. Super, super, super cold. Ice water's in there. Harbor Freight towel holders, magnetic. Okay, works really well. In the back, I got more command things that hold my my um, griddle spray. Uh, command caddy in the back for my spices. Uh, magnets are my best friend on this. Thermo Pro uh, meat meat thermometer. Uh, we have outdoor lights on our camper um, that connects to this button inside here. We have a Wi-Fi connector, Wi-Fi extender actually. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, hold on Dixie. All right, our knives I want to hooked up here. Okay, DVD player. 
Right here is the new Blackstone 17 inch E series griddle. We had the propane one for many years and this is the propane and hold, uh, keeping that and cleaning it and maintaining it was just becoming a lot. So sold it and I got this instead. You just plug it into a power outlet and you cook. Super easy cleanup as well. Got my spatula, let's hook my magnets inside. Okay. You need silicone spatulas. You can't use metal on the C series. Griddle mat, more things, egg rings, whatnot. Gloves in the back if I need them. More command hooks. Okay. All right, guys, well, listen, I've got a very impatient dog over here, I think. Say, hey, Dixie. And I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll be doing a video tomorrow or Friday. So it's raining here tomorrow and Friday. Of our indoor mods. Okay? Thanks a lot. Take care.